Okay. I'm gonna go with yes, that is probably what that music means. Probably does mean you're out of time and it's gonna reset now. I can see why the galaxy is so small. Solar system. What is that thing launching? It broke apart. Is that an escape capsule? Alright, well he's at least not going to keep asking me how I have the code every play- every playthrough, just the second time. So much for my idea of bringing my thing to them, but I, I kind of get the feeling that maybe the people in this area might not be that useful. I don't know. They certainly can't keep up with what I'm doing. The level of crazy involved. We have discovered some shit around here. Alright. <clears throat> New mission. We're going to Giant's Deep. Nothing else matters. I need to see this weird explodey thing. I need to know why it's coming apart. Also, I need to practice my controls pretty badly. Hello. Not you, I want that thing. Uh oh. Going too slow, going too fast. Uh. Engage autopilot. Can you fix this for me? I'm bad at this. Wow, I had some trajectory, didn't I? Uh, flying is hard. I want to go to that. I don't go to that. No, lock up. Yes. Yes. Hold. Match velocity. This is way harder than I ever thought it could be <laughs> to control. Ooh, those arrows help me orient, don't they? Yes. That's what they do. Interesting. The arrows match what you need to do to... Yeah. Get closer to this thing. Get me on it. Can I get on it? There's a chunks of it flying around broken. I can't attach to it, and that makes me worried. I'm afraid to jump out, because I might go flying off into space. This is really hard. Okay. This planet looks so undetailed, I don't know what's the deal. Is that just its atmosphere? Like, do you pierce through that when you go on? Maybe. Let's unbuckle. I can safely walk around. I just might lose... Damn it. <gasps> ah! You, you're my answer. There we go. There's some kind of hole here. There we go, there's a docking location. Ooh. Oh! Kind of dangerous. <gasps> 
I didn't get in the suit after all that. That's embarrassing. I was excited. <laughs> Not the kind of mistake you make when you're a real person, but when you're a video game person, it's real easy to be like, oh, I just jumped out of this space chute. You know, because th like, you don't think about it nearly as much. Damn it. Ah, oh, that's gonna cost me. Still, I've gained information. I've learned a few tricks about how to fly. And I've learned learned a few tricks. I've learned where, to, where I'm trying to go on that thing too. Uh, put you on an advance. Now I can't screw up. Unless I unless it just unless it does force you to take it off. What does A do? Is A a break? Is A my space break? There you are. You, I want you. But also, how fast am I going? Because that's the problem, of course. Gotta be careful, or your velocity will ruin you. Come on, let me lock onto the thing I want to lock onto instead of the planet. Need to get pretty close. There you go. Match velocity. Match velocity! Yeah, so as, as you hold match velocity, it just presses the buttons automatically that you would need to press to make all those arrows go away. Those white arrows are the vectors describing why you're off balance. Yeah, if you look at the sun now, it's just orange. It's kind of just chill. Whereas it was like a problem a moment ago. I need to rotate. Okay. Velocity matched. Okay. We're good? We're attached or something? Good. Alright, my spacesuit is on. This time I will not immediately die. I can die of other things. But I won't die of what I died of last time. Oh god. Uh, I'm still in full flying mode. What the fuck is this? Whoa. Is this the loading mechanism that fired that thing into space? Is this where the barrel's supposed to be if it hadn't blown apart because it totally did a moment ago? <sighs> yeah, it's, it's obliterated out there. I am like... Being in the void out here with the suggestion of threats and also mystery and also the pure alienness of my surroundings, I'm like simultaneously enthralled and, and curious and terrified. Like, I don't like being here, but I also want to know more, and I just have to fight those two things against each other. Kind of like Subnautica. Not as bad as Subnautica, because it's not overtly in the ocean full of predators right now. But, similar, there's some similarities between how I have to move in this game, and how I'm clearly not equipped for my surroundings, and other things like that. So left bumper plus right stick is roll. There we go. Control module. Probe tracking module. Oh, it's a- it fires probes? Ugh. God, it's so hard to fly. Hit. Still a better experience than observation, because at least I can tell where I am and what I'm trying to do. Are you the one I haven't done yet? I can orient myself mostly. Probe tracking module. Is that the one I keep missing? Launch module. Okay. Let's try you at first, I guess. 
So this thing just fired something off. It is a trip in there. Do I have to launch the scout? Can I not just get in there? Are you telling me a person can't fit through that gap? It does seem that way. It does seem pretty destroyed in there. kind of tube system. Oh. You can actually see the stuff that's currently moving around in the distance. Huh. It's like a live update when I do this. That's just debris though, I think. Can I perfectly launch it so it gets on you, I wonder? Oh, no, it's not that easy to aim. I was just kind of curious. So if I want to explore that, I have to reach it from the outside, which I don't know if I'd feel safe trying that. Probe tracking module seems to not exist anymore. Was that? Oh, that's the interloper over there. That's the interloper off in the distance. The probe tracking module's over there. I have one more I want to check out, but I'm going to go ahead and try to go back to my ship if I can. There we go. Gah. Gah! Oh, that was disorienting and confusing. Hi. How do you do? Okay. Refueled. Alright, my oxygen's back going. There we go. Because we were, we were on our last few minutes of oxygen and I didn't want to... Didn't want to risk it too bad. The orbital probe cannon. The broken remains of a Nomai space station in orbit around Giant's Deep. There are three access ways branching off from the central hub area. It says there's more to explore here. One of the orbital probe cannon's three modules. The launch module looks heavily damaged. There's a huge breach in the glass viewport. One of the orbital probe cannons, three modules. Okay, so the launch module is heavily damaged, but it has stuff. Probe tracking modules seem to be gone entirely. There's more to explore here. Seems like they, if there's more to explore, they, they mark it with this asterisk to help you know that you don't... Just make sure you don't leave without finishing everything. Because one, you could miss this stuff the first time through. Just in general, just to how humans do. But additionally, you could die midway through. Either because you run out of time, or because you just otherwise die. But good to know there's a system. Yeah, there's probe tracking. Isn't that where I just came from? So this thing also has one of those signifiers. This is the control module, right? Yeah. This one also has the door thing. But it's not where I came from. Ow. Slow down. Don't kill myself. Okay. Stationary.
Okay, music's getting intense, but I don't know why. Wait. Is that glob moving? The music got intense and I'm nervous that something's happening. Okay. Probably just that, hey, this place is rad, right? Whoa, gravity. Okay, so there's a floor and a ceiling in both of them. Yep, they both have gravity crystals on them. Whoa! Okay, that's a fun idea. There's the nightmare glob, we'll get back to you. So these things not only reverse gravity, they send me to the other spot. Right, because all of their crystals, the pointy bits are, po are the pointy bits are pointing up, which means that that they make the, that the down direction. Oh boy! Giant's deep projection stone. I have bad news, Avens. Yara said there was a problem with the proposed power source, so the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. I have to be pulling my locomotive limb here, Kasava. My, my locomotive leg, so be pull, pulling my leg. I wish I were my friend, but no. They aren't certain they can fix the problem, so the orbital probe cannon is on indefinite hiatus. Tell Privet and Mallow they should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain at the construction yard for now. An update. Mallow and I will join you and Daz. Privet left to visit her brother. She fears Idea may feel responsible. There's a lot of names. They, they didn't pro fire the probe cannon because there's a problem with the power source. Seems they may have built this whole thing and then never used it, perhaps. Until maybe now? When it went off, right before the supernova? We are perpetually moving unreasonably fast around this thing. Makes me nervous. Hey, there's my ship. Don't I already have a stone? Oh, that's the one. Launch module projection stone. Mallow. My better 50%. Kasova is sending the latest of the... Uh, Kasava is sending the last of the cannon components. Soon, relatively speaking, we'll know the eye's precise location. So that's written in orange, so that must be the orange branch, is the cannon? The thought of concluding our elder's curious and challenging search increases my heart's temperature, my love. Kasava tells me he and the, the construction yard crew have determined a power setting we are not, under any circumstances, to go above. I see. And am I right to think that, consequently, we'll be ignoring that setting? I can posit with nearly 100% certainty that our friends have accounted for our natures, so I suggest we do. Give the orbital probe cannon all the power it can structurally withstand creates the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. Yes, the probe must travel as fast as it can. As far as it can. I'll make some adjustments. They're firing a probe to find the eye of the universe. So they want to make it go as fast and as far as possible. So these people want it to withstand, they want, these people want to go beyond the recommended requirements. Interesting. It might be that it never did fire, but it just did fire just now at the beginning of this sequence of my Majora's Mask, like three day thing or whatever. It may have just fired off right then, and as and they went beyond the of uh, what the system could allow, like they're saying here, and that's why it fell apart and exploded and just bleh in the sky right when I woke up. 
Too bad I didn't even bother telling the other guy this was happening. He could have seen it or something. Ah, it's not it's not a different code. So it's not a circle of things like last time. So I have, I have to stay within the circle or it goes away. What the hell? So familiar message, like there's the message thing. Some sort of ring thing I haven't seen before. I've seen this thing before, but not that thing being over it. That confirms that those are supposed to be light sources whenever I see these around. Because they're explicitly being used as torches there. Some crazy wibbly wobbly fluids going on here. Oh, is that just the surface of the entire planet? Is it all water and green? Oh! Maybe it's an ocean planet down here, but with a thick green atmosphere up there, and that's why it looks like it's just a, a green ball. Huh. So over here there's a system. Ah. Those are, that, that, those are plans for the thing that I'm using. That I'm on right now. Uh, I don't like that it's an ocean planet. <laughs> I do not want to go in the water. Freaks me out. Alright. The launch module. Ah. Ah. Okay, well, I think what we're learning here is that these projections are live. I thought they might have been visions of the past or a message or something. Especially since the first one we saw was so abstract in its nature. But this one actually is inside that destroyed room. There's the giant broken window. Ah, uh, so there totally is a message in here. I need to get in here. I can't just ignore it and let the probe look and leave and leave. I need to see if I can get here. There's messages. Yeah, there's one right there. But I can't get it, can I? Nope. And it looks identical to this room because it is, largely. Can I go through those pipes? No, this probably transmit power or something. Okay. I think I lost control over that distance. Yeah. Whoops. Whoa. Do you project? Damage report. Severe structural stress detection. Accessing damage to modules. Intact. No structural damage. Viewport window fractured. Module. Exposed to a vacuum of space. Oh, that's the different. So the orbital probe cannon, severe damage. Control module, no damage. Launch module, we've seen that before. Yeah, the glass is shattered. Probe tracking module's missing. That's what these are. These are information disks. What? Was the. Oh, the elevator thing was right there. I thought something bad happened to me. So this, yeah, it, it it creates a 3D model of whatever it's trying to display. It's a display. What a cool computer system thing. We're zooming out.
Begin la launch log. Orbital probe cannon. Launch request received. Probe launch successful. Probe tracking modules receiving data from probe. Orbital probe cannon structure compromised during launch. Damage to multiple modules detected. Yeah. Shit. Yep, there's, there's it falling apart. Did it change based on which one I was looking at? I wonder? No. Makes me nervous how fast that planet looks like it's moving from here. Oh, it's looking red. Damn. And there's an eclipse. What is that? Is it the weird root covered planet thing? 17 minutes, 23 seconds ago. Request to launch probe or seed from Ash Twin Project. Cannon alignment with randomly selected probe trajectory. Gravity field activated. The time already? Damn it. That's just where it started. So I guess that's the three things that can we can review about this thing. It moves based on your sight. Maybe I was given the power to move these things by when that the statue looked at me. Ow! Shit. <laughs> Makes it a little hard to get out of here. I went. When the gravity hold is that uh, strong. Get in. There we go. There we go. Ooh. Get my ass out of here. I think I've finished exploring this area except for the problem of how to get there. Let's fire my probe again because I can get... If I, prior, if I fire my probe there, I can, I'll can. i have a reference point for where it is when I go out in space. I swear to God, it's so hard to fly. Okay, there we go. This is going to take so much practice. Okay. Based on that, I can tell where it is in the system. I kind of need to hurry, I think. My oxygen's really full. Was that... That room I was in just now, did it have oxygen? I'm in a bit of a hurry because I don't know how much time is left, but I want to get in and out and get the messages before the oxygen goes out. Okay. I mean, before the uh, system is destroyed by the supernova. Also, maybe I'll look at it this time. <laughs> I'm a little worried that if I walk out of that thing, I'll immediately go flying off. I really hope I can match the velocity of this whole thing pretty well. I see it seems to not be flying into space yet. Oh, uh, oh, uh, don't fly into space. Uh. Okay, I feel exposed out there. Why'd that have to tell me that the anglerfish can survive without atmosphere? That's just suggesting that I'm going to see something out there. Imagine private... Privet... Pri eh? The probe tracking module will, will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You'll be the first to see them. I am honored and terrified. You won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power that it breaks, will you? Fret not, my nervous friend. We only need to fire the probe once anyway, so who minds if it compromises the orbital probe cannon's structural integrity slightly? I would mind, Mallow. I would mind, because we won't be able capable of receiving our probe's data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. Welp. Guess we're fucked. Come back, come back down here. Mallow. My better 50%. 
Salvacing the last of the cannon's components soon, relatively speaking, we'll see the... Oh. The same message as before. Why is the same one here? Projection stone of the module. Let's go. Is this what it looks like? But it's floating in... Sp what the fuck? Look at those things. Where did it land? Shit. The probe tracking module is completely intact. It's completely intact, it's just somewhere else. Uh, it is like Subnautica, I'm gonna have to go on like a retrieval mission to find it. Alright, well this is the music, that means we're El Fucto. Where's the sun? There it is. See if I can see it when it goes bad. Velocity matched. Are you gonna block it right when I ha- Yo! How does it always get blocked every time? It's astonishing. Well, one of these days we'll see it. Whoa. 